Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, the file with Int++ programming. What are the general structure of a file loop or the basic concept of a file loop? Uh, and uh, we will do some examples within this uh, while loop. Uh, so uh, let's uh, begin. This is uh, the general structure or the syntax of a while loop. Uh, this is a general structure. There is a keyword which are while, then there is a condition which are uh, the test, and uh, these are uh, the loop of uh, the body that uh, execute or the instruction uh, that are written by a uh, the programmer in order to execute sequentially. So, uh, if the condition is to this uh, body of the loop is executed sequentially, uh, these are the general uh, structure of the flowchart, how this while loop is working. For instance, uh, if there is an input, uh, then uh, or the initial value, within this initial value, there is a condition, uh, this condition, uh, uh, operate uh, seems like for a uh, uh, for loop uh, uh, into uh, or uh, boolean uh, operation uh, the result either true or false uh, so only have uh, two probabilities if it is true uh, to it's uh, become a false uh, so uh, if the condition within this input there is an input on here uh, then within this input, check the condition if it is true. Uh, this input is an initial value. Uh, so uh, within this initial value, uh, the condition is test before this body of uh, the loop is executed. Then if the condition is true, the loop of the body or uh, uh, each statement of the instruction that written inside of this curly bracket is executed one times. Uh, then uh, the loop of the body is updated. Uh, it may be auto increment or it may be auto auto decrement. Uh, then uh, within this uh, uh, updated value, that is the initial or the input value uh, is used only one uh, times. After that, uh, we have taken. Uh, either uh, auto increment value or auto decrement value. Uh, then check again the condition. If the condition is true, uh, come back again on this uh, body of the loop and execute it. Then uh, uh, this uh, condition or uh, we leave from this body of the loop when the condition is false. So uh, the, if the condition is false or the result or the testing of the condition is false, uh, simply we leave from uh, the loop of the body or uh, simply we leave from uh, this condition to uh, here or these are the loop of the body. So uh, how can we uh, program this in instruction, uh, let me show you uh, how can uh, we solve uh, the uh, problem with an uh, code block editor uh, for a while loop. For instance, uh, first we write uh, a stream, then uh, using a namespace. A steady, then uh, int main, uh, then uh, after that uh, we use this one. Then, for instance, uh, uh, there is a problem. Uh, seems like for this one, display the sum of all number. Uh, display uh, the sum, the uh, sum of all number from uh, twenty to uh, one hundred. Uh, that means uh, between twenty to. Uh, uh, is the minimum value is 20 and the maximum value is uh, 100. So uh, the all number between 20 and 100 is, uh, for instance, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. I uh, start so to answer play for the one till 99. So the minimum value is 20. So uh, display the sum, uh, but the output is the same, the sum of all number between. 20 and 100. So how can we write uh, 
this uh, or how can we solve this problem by using the acquired loop? So uh, let's uh, write, for instance, uh, int uh, i or the initial value i uh, as equals to uh, 21 because it's between 20 and 100. So 20 is uh, even number. So we uh, start from 21. Then uh, uh, comma 21 comma uh, sum uh, the initial value of sum is equal to zero uh, because uh, we we want to calculate uh, the sum all number between 20 and 100 uh, which are uh, all number so we'll use the uh, while a keyword uh, just like the one uh, then uh, the maximum value is uh, 20 uh, 100 so I uh, less than or equals to uh, 100. Uh, then uh, we use a curly bracket uh, that we want to execute. Then I is equals to, in order to get the old number, uh, we must be uh, out of increment uh, by uh, two. Then we calculate I equals to I plus uh, two. Uh, then uh, some, uh, as equals to uh, sum uh, plus i, the body of i, and finally, uh, uh, in uh, zero, then uh, on here, uh, see out, see out because we went to the output of uh, sum or, or their sum, uh, sum, then uh, in the uh, then, for the instance, uh, let me tell you how it works. For instance, the initial value of i is 21. Uh, then, uh, the initial value of sum is 0. Uh, so, uh, while i less than or close to 100, because uh, our number between 20 and 21 uh, is 21, 23, till 99 uh, when we count by our service. Uh, then uh, the auto increment i is equals to i plus two for the instance. The initial value of uh, mm, this one it, it, it must be integer, right? Just it's better if you write things like for this one. Then uh, let me tell you how it works. How it uh, works this instruction of uh, this uh, program. Uh, the initial value of i is 21. Uh, so while i is equal to i less than or equal to 100, uh, for instance, the initial value of i is 21. So 21 less than or equal to 100, uh, this condition is true. So if this condition is true, uh, simply this body of the loop is executed and come back again on here, right? So uh, sum is equal to sum plus i. Uh, the initial value of sum is equal to zero. So sum plus i. The value of i is 21. So 21 plus uh, sum, uh, 21, it's 21 plus zero, 21. So 21 stored on the sum. The value of sum right now is equal to uh, 21. Then, i is equal to i plus 2, or this auto increment uh, condition is calculated. Or you can write this one, i uh, plus is equal to 2 with uh, a compound operator. I think it's clear. So i plus is equal to 2 in a sense, i is equal to i plus 2, i plus 2. Uh, because we uh, want uh, right now uh, the old value for this uh, uh, Let me check it in order to get the old value. Uh, i is equal to i plus 2, the initial value of i is 21, then um, 21 plus 2 is equal to 23, then uh, we taken this updated initial value or uh, the increment value of i and come back on the condition on here, then uh, the i value right now, rather than 20, it becomes 23, so 23 less than 100, this condition is true. If this condition is to the loop of the body is executed again, then sum is equal to sum plus i. The value of sum is 21. The value of i is 23. So uh, this one is it becomes 21 plus the i value is 23. 
the sum right now uh, 21 plus 23 it become uh, 40 uh, for so uh, the sum value right now is it become 44 then the i value is also increase i squared to i plus 2 uh, the i value right now is 23 then 23 plus 2 it become 25 then with this 25 check uh, this condition is true i less than or equal to 100 that means 25 less than or equal to 100 it's correct then uh, we execute this body of the loop again so the sum value is 44 it become a 44 and the the i value it become 25 then 44 plus 25 it become uh, 60 uh, and i just the i value is less than or equal to 100 this body of the loop is executed for instance when the condition this condition it become a force when the i value is equal to uh, 101 uh, the increment value of i is 101 then 101 the result will cost 100 false so the result we uh, leave from this body of the loop and this instruction is executed so uh, let me execute this one uh, and check the uh, results and plus i this add some uh, plus i these are uh, the uh, program uh, as included. What's wrong on here? As included, the stream is no such file directory. Uh, okay. Include stream. Then let me execute it again. Uh, so uh, the sum is uh, this one, uh, 2,400. Uh, let me uh, add only, uh, for instance, uh, from uh, 1 to uh, 5, 1 to uh, 5, uh, simply uh, in the sum of, uh, the sum of uh, natural number 1 to 5, that uh, means the maximum value is 5, so uh, let me execute it and see the result how it works. This is the instruction for the sum one, two, uh, five. Uh, so twenty-five. Uh, wow, uh, one five, right? Or fifteen? For instance, let me add um, this one. Uh, one uh, plus two plus three plus four plus uh, five uh, when we add this value one to one plus two uh, three three plus three six six plus four uh, ten ten plus five to uh, one five so uh, the sum of uh, a natural number uh, from one to five is uh, one five and uh, the sum of uh, all number between uh, 20 and uh, 100 is 2000 2400 uh, so uh, this is a simple instruction and plus is equals to two this is a simple instruction how can we add uh, all number between uh, 20 and 21 uh, the another simple instruction uh, write a plus plus program to display hero world lead, uh, 60 times with a while loop Write a plus plus program that display hello world, uh, the text of hello world, uh, 60 uh, times. How can we write this in instruction? Uh, simply, uh, let me uh, show you. Uh, for instance, int uh, count, count uh, uh, is equal to a one, uh, then uh, while, while, uh, count uh, less than or equals to a 60 uh, because uh, 60 times then within the curly brackets see out uh, hello world it is a string constant so simply we write uh, hey hello world so uh, then uh, in the in order to begin the new line for each instruction 
So this is a simple instruction that display hello world 60 times with the acquired loop. So uh, let me uh, uh, show uh, count is equal to one. This is the number of iteration or the initial value of count is equal to one. Oh, so the, uh, you must be uh, see it count plus plus, right? Count uh, plus plus on here, count plus plus. Or uh, you can write count is equal to count plus one. Uh, it is the same because it's an auto increment, uh, count plus plus, or uh, you can write count is equal to uh, count the last one is the same, right? So, uh, uh, for instance, the initial value of count is equal to one. Uh, so, uh, check this condition. Count uh, less than or equal to 60. The value of count right now is one. So, one less than or equal to six. Uh, this condition is true. If the condition is true, uh, the body of the loop is x good uh, one times and uh, update the loop. Uh, so uh, the condition is true. One is our course to see uh, this condition is true. So see out hello world. It. Hello world it is display one times, then count plus plus any sense. Count equals count plus one. The initial value of count is equals to one. One plus one count become two. So within this uh, two value, come back on this condition. Count less than it cost to uh, six, check this condition. The value of count is 2 to less than or equal to 60. So this is correct. Or this condition is true. So simply uh, display this result again or two times um, from uh, the previous one. Uh, then the count value is also increased right now. So the value of count right now is 2, 2 plus 1, 3. Uh, and within this uh, 3 value, uh, 3 uh, Count is equal to 3, so 3 less than equals to 60. So this is true. Then see out hello world. So till 60 times, uh, this hello world is displayed on the screen when I execute this instruction, right? When you count this hello world, uh, you have got a CKST, right? You will have got a CKST. So this is a simple instruction for the instance and you order to execute. Um, Infinite times, for instance, uh, infinite uh, times uh, for the instance uh, count uh, count uh, greater than uh, zero, count greater than uh, zero, uh, see out hello world. So this is an infinite execution. For the instance, uh, the count value is one, the initial value of count is one, or you can write this one on one. Then the initial value of count is one. Uh, then uh, count greater than or equals to uh, one. Then see out here the web. The count is increased, come back again. Uh, it is an infinite execution, right? There is no any limitation uh, or there is no any end step uh, state to uh, stop this execution. Let me show you how it works. So as you have seen on here, this is an infinite execution uh, with uh, the acquired loop. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you have any comment or suggestion, please write on the description uh, box. Uh, have a nice uh, time. Love you guys. Uh, bye.